congratulations on that gorgeous trophy. I have to say, normally football and awards ceremonies don't really go hand in hand. How's it feel to get up on a podium and take a statue home? Yeah, um, I guess it's like the Oscars or <laughs> Emmys or something like that. But no, um, it's uh, this is a great event, um, certainly with the National Football League Players Association and um, the opportunity to be around you know, a lot of the guys within you, the union, but really recognize uh, the entire body of players you know, throughout the league and um, certain accomplishments that uh, a lot of guys have um, you know, been able to achieve, not only this year, but throughout the course of their career. And um, to be able to recognize some of those individuals and some of those groups, it's, uh, it's just great to be here and be a part of that. Now I have to ask, speaking of your family, do you want the boys to follow in your footsteps? <laughs> You know what? I want them to do whatever makes them happy. And me being a kid who grew up playing all kinds of sports and really that being, you know, all I did, I would love it if, if they, you know, chose that path. But um, it, it seems like my oldest, Balin, who just turned three, he's got some musical talent, so I think he might go down that road. He's all about, you know, playing the guitar and, um, you know, singing to the microphone and all that stuff. Uh, our youngest, who is 15 months old, is, uh, seems like he might be the athlete. He, uh, he loves any kind of a ball and just loves throwing everything, including food. So he might be the athlete, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it all shakes out. But regardless of what they do, I'm just, uh, just, just happy to be a father. When the season is over, what are you indulging in? <laughs> Tell me something good. <laughs> well, it's funny because so my son Balin just turned three and we have the same birthday. So I turned 33, he turned three. He was born on my 30th birthday, which is coolest thing ever January 15th so here over the last week uh, my wife made him a cake a guitar shaped cake imagine that and then and then made made me a cake as well and over the past five days I have pretty much single-handedly devoured both of those cakes so while I, I keep a pretty you know stringent disciplined diet throughout the season I definitely go on a little bit of a three-week binge uh, once the season ends just to get it out of my system and so that includes, you know, all the good stuff and, you know, normally all the stuff that I try to keep out of my diet during the season. Have you ever played yourself on a video game? Um, yes, I've been forced to do that. Um, <laughs> What's that feel like? <laughs> uh, you know, it's, well, it's weird. I mean, here's the thing. When you're a kid, I mean, you would dream. You could only dream about being, you know, playing yourself in a video game. But I um, played, uh, you know, I was on the cover of, of Madden. Uh, and, and so when, when I did that, I was, you know, I, I would end up playing people and they'd be like, well, you have to play yourself, you know, and so I did. And, uh, you know, it was eerie, you know, just thinking, uh, because the game is so realistic too, you know, so, you know, they, they, had hooked, they had hooked me up with all the bulbs and everything else. So you're getting, you know, facial dimensions and all this stuff and body, you know, mannerisms and you're just like, how can it be so exact and precise? But it is, I mean, it's pretty amazing. If you could be another player, who would it be? Oh, on, on Madden or just, um, gosh, that's a good question. I don't know, you know, because they rate the players. Obviously, you get all these high grades and these certain things. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd probably, a free safety, maybe Ed Reed, just roaming the field. Yeah. And I have to ask you about the man, the myth, the legend, Tebow. Tebow, yeah. What has he done for the sport? You know, I think he's been great. I think he's been awesome. I, yeah, listen, I think his passion for the game, what he stands for, I mean, um, I think he's one of those guys that you would all look at and say, the road that this guy's traveled, um, you know, the adversity that he's faced, you know, certainly all the naysayers early on this season, um, but he just continues to win, you know, and in this league, that's really what it's about, and he carries himself in such a great way, um, you know, publicly with his teammates. Um, so forget everything else. Uh, I think the guy stands for everything that's good about this game, and he's a winner, and it's hard to argue that. He's a verb, actually, T-Boeing, when you're T-Boeing. Right, I know. It's, uh, <laughs> you know you have, you know you have, you know, a sphere of influence when they, 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 they name, you know, an actual, you know, you know, term after you and then have you, you know, just the whole T-Boeing phenomenon is pretty, pretty amazing. Let's give you one. What would you call yourself? We can, like, you know, give you an action. I don't know. You'd have to come up with it. I mean, my name lends itself to a lot of, you know... Hey, you don't need a nickname, you just are. You just are. Right, exactly. <laughs>